All right, so today we're going to be talking about collisions a little bit and why we're using Kinematic Body 2D. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to add a new child node onto our player here. And we're going to be adding a collision shape 2D onto him. And on that collision shape 2D, if you go over to the shape on the right, we can then add a new shape onto him. We're just going to add a simple rectangle like so. And we're going to make it about the size of that ship right there. And if you click off the square thing, you'll be able to move around that collision shape as needed, which we're going to need to a little bit. Generally speaking, on the player, you want to make it a bit smaller than the ship is itself. Why? Because players don't like feeling like they got gypped. And if it's even close to looking like they got gypped, then, well, they're going to get mad at you. Um, so like right here, for instance, the ship will actually collide if those edges right there hit. So we're going to make it so it looks like this. So like right now, it won't even hit if those wings are hit or anything like that. And the front of the ship, or we can just do a circle shape. We can do a circle shape and just make it so that it's just inside of the whole ship, like so. That's probably good enough for him. So let's do that. Now, if we make a whole new thing, we're going to go up to something over here, and we're going to right-click and we're going to add a new child node onto here. We're going to look for static. This is static by 2D. This is also something that functions inside the collision system. And then we're going to add a new sprite onto him. Sprite, this is only going to be for testing purposes, so no big deal if you guys don't want to build this part. I'm going to drag over our icon onto him so that we have uh, something to look at as this is happening. I'm going to drag it all over like so. I just dragged over the sprite, which is why I say to hit those two squares. And then I'm just going to put them kind of right here. That's probably a good spot. We'll shrink them down a bit. He's humongous right now, right? So we'll just shrink down this the sprite itself. If you hold down Alt, it'll make it more uniform, I believe. Or is it Shift? Shift. Shift will make it more uniform, like so. And then we will take the transform and reset it. So, reset it so that it's uh, right there in the middle and it's a somewhat good size. Right? Now, right now, if I hit the play button and I drive right into that thing, you'll see that I just go right through it, like so. Right? And the reason why we're not colliding is because this thing has no shape to it, it has no physical body. Uh, despite having the artwork here, it doesn't know that it has a shape, unlike our ship, which has this circle shape. See, in the game world, in the physics system, it's, the, it's this collision shape that matters. The art doesn't. Like, that's just something the player uses with their eyeballs, you know? It has nothing to do with what the computer sees. So, if I just drive around this, this little circle thing, this is actually what collides and hits things. This is actually the shape of my body as a ship, right? Whereas this thing right here is not. It's that blue circle that matters. And we need to make that same kind of a body on this static body 2D right here. So if we right click, we add a child node, and we write in a collision shape 2D onto it. And we're just gonna make a simple square shape or a rectangle shape, it doesn't really matter. We'll make it about the right size. That looks about right. And then I'm gonna fly into it and this time it will not work. I'll just kind of go into it and hit it, right? And that's how collisions work inside of Godot. And it's kind of the reason why you use a kinematic body 2D instead of just moving the node itself. All right. So now that we got that done, um, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. In the next video, we're going to be talking about, well, we're going to be making bullets. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's get to it next video. Have a great day. Guys, bye.